हेलो एवरी वन मैं नेम इज मनी सेठी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेंग हेल्दी टूडे वी विल सी इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ ऑपरेशन रिसर्च लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग प्रॉब्लम एंड फॉर्मुलेशन ऑफ लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग ऑफ प्रॉब्लम सो वट डू यू मीन बाई ऑपरेशन रिसर्च ऑपरेशन रिसर्च और इन शॉर्ट यू कैन से दैट ओ आर ओ आर इज एनालिटिकल मैथड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम सोल्विंग एंड डिसीजन मेकिंग OR is analytical method of problem solving and decision making that means OR uses mathematical and analytical method to solve complex problem but where we apply OR we mainly apply OR in production planning transportation logistic and health care so we can say that OR is process of finding optimum solution for problem and linear programming is a type of problem that we solve by using a techniques from uh, operation research so what is linear programming a problem what does this linear represent linear represent linear equations as we know where variables have degree 1 will be called linear equation this is linear equation because here x variable have degree 1 This is a non-linear equation because here x variable have degree two, not one. In linear programming, we always use linear equation, not non-linear equation. So we can say that linear programming uses linear equation to find optimum solution for given problem. Objective function and constraint are fundamental part of linear programming problem. Please listen carefully. ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन एंड कंस्ट्रेंट आर फंडामेंटल पार्ट ऑफ लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग प्रॉब्लम ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन मीन्स वट आर अवर ऑब्जेक्टिव वी वॉन्ट टू मैक्सीमाइज अवर प्रॉफिट और मिनिमाइज अवर कॉस्ट कंस्ट्रेंट मीन्स अवर लिमिटेशन लाइक रिसोर्स इज लिमिटेशन वी हैव लिमिटेड प्रोडक्शन कैपेसिटी एंड लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग प्रॉब्लम मेनली हेल्प हाउ विद इन अवर लिमिटेशन वी कैन अचीव अवर ऑब्जेक्टिव objective function of linear programming represent a goal which problem want to achieve for example a company maximize want to maximize its profit by producing two product a and b and this is equation of objective function maximize z equal to 10 x1 plus 15 x2 here x1 represent quantities of uh, a product which a company is producing and 10 is per unit profit from a product x2 represent uh, total quantities of b product which company is producing and 15 is per unit uh, profit from b product and this part represent total profit of company from a and b product and company aim to maximize this profit that's why this will be called objective function because this is objective which company want to achieve second fundamental part of linear programming problem constraint constraint are our limitation for example we have limited resources we have limited production capacity for example here you can see product a require 3 unit of particular resources product b require 4 unit of particular resources but resources is not available more than 400 uh, uh, units so this is our limitation this is our constraint within this limit we have to maximize our goal with the help of linear programming problem so constraint mainly have two forms of first equation in case of equation both sides are equal to each other this equal sign represent both sides are equal to each other second way to represent constraint is inequalities in case of inequalities we uses this kind of sign um, greater than less than greater than equal to less than or equal to and this uh, represent uh, inequalities now we are going to talk about formulation of a linear programming problem we are talking about sensing suppose sensing is producing only two product one is mobile other one is tablet 2 rupees uh, profit sensing is earning from per mobile and 3 rupees of uh, profit sensing earning from per tablet for producing mobile and tablet sensing need two types of machine g and h per mobile require 1 minute processing time on g type of machine and 2 minute processing time on h type of machine tablet require 1 minute processing time on g type of machine and 1 minute on h type of machine but 
मशीन जी इज नॉट अवेलेबल फॉर मोर देन सिक्स आवर एंड फोर्टी मिनट वाइल एच इज नॉट अवेलेबल फॉर मोर देन टेन आवर्स इन अ डे बेस्ड ऑन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी विल मेक वन टेबल बेस्ड ऑन प्रीवियस प्रॉब्लम वी मेड वन टेबल फर्स्ट कॉलम वी हैव मशीन सेकेंड कॉलम वी हैव मोबाइल एंड वी आर प्रोड्यूसिंग टोटल एक्स वन यूनिट ऑफ मोबाइल दिस कॉलम वी हैव टैबलेट एंड वी आर प्रोड्यूसिंग टोटल एक्स टू यूनिट ऑफ टैबलेट इन दिस कॉलम वी हैव अवेलेबल मिनट्स फॉर बोथ मशीन जी एंड एच सो हेयर यू कैन सी मोबाइल रिक्वायर वन मिनट प्रोसेसिंग टाइम ऑन जी टाइप ऑफ मशीन and 2 minute processing time on h type of machine but tablet require 1 minute processing time on g type of machine and 1 minute processing time on h type of machine but machine g is available for 6 hours and 40 minute when we convert 6 hour and 40 minutes into total minutes it will become equal to 400 and the machine h is available for 10 hours when we convert 10 hours into minutes it will become equal to 600 minutes here we have per unit profit mobile is giving 2 rupees per unit profit and tablet is giving 3 per unit of profit all these things we have already discussed and based on a previous problem we made one table as we earlier discussed linear programming problem have two fundamental part objective function and constraint objective function means our main objective what we want to achieve here our main objective is we want to maximize our profit that's why max g max g means we want to maximize our profit max g is equal to 2x1 x1 unit of mobile we are producing per unit uh, profit from mobile is 2 x2 unit of uh, tablet we are producing Three per unit uh, profit from tablet. This will be called our total profit, which we want to maximize, and this is our objective. Objective function, but this objective function is constrained to mean what are limitation. Here you can see mobile require one minute processing time on G type of machine. Tablet also require one minute processing on G type of machine, but G type of machine is not available for more than four hundred minutes. This is our limitation. Similar, uh, mobile require two minute processing time on H type of machine, and the tablet require one minute processing time on H type of machine. But H type of machine is not available more than six minutes. These are our limitation. Within these constraint, within these limitation, we have to maximize our objective, and this is main goal of linear programming problem. So this is all about today's video. I think you got it, and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye, take care.